hey Siggy, what's going on in a technical discipline mm -hmm. hiring uh, psychologists? With the new players, everything mm. is changing. Everything starts with uh, data uh, accessibility. How do you see the future? What's in 10 years? Welcome to Push to Future. I am Philip Wibbing, I'm partner of the Unity and we are here in the Unity in Stuttgart. I'm responsible as a partner of Unity for all our projects concerning engineering and digitalization. And I'm a board member of ProStep IWIP representing the IT vendors and the consultancies. There are several topics in our industries um, like the software and the product and the digital transformation we have all in common and because of that ProStep IWIP is a very important platform to share experiences on that. I have the pleasure today to talk about very interesting topics for the automotive industry and for other industries too. The topics are different strategies for software in the product, so for operating systems in cars, the importance of speed in the product creation process, like shorter time to market and the efficiency in processes, and the value add of the ProStep IVIP community. So I'm very excited to meet a special guest today to talk about these things. My name is Sigmar Hasis, but all my friends call me Sigi. So I spent 27 years at Mercedes, different positions, different locations. Uh, my second last position was CIO Overseas Greater China and my last position was uh, CIO R&D Mercedes. And now I stepped out uh, to start my own business called Haas DEC, Digital Engineering Consulting. What I've learned for 27 years, now uh, I'm doing as an advisor or as a consultant to support both which is, uh, I mean, the producers and uh, the IT software companies uh, and startups. Always the same topic, value creation during the product creation process. So Z, uh, what, what is your connection to ProStep IWIP and the ProStep IWIP Symposium? Uh, you've been a long, long guest there um, and an active person You're in the technical program and so on. What's your connection? I mean, uh, Philip, you know, definitely there are technical reasons, uh, but there are, let's say, uh, relationship reasons. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, it feels like being in a family. So it's family membership, uh, it's uh, connecting with the people, mm -hmm. it's uh, knowledge sharing. Uh, it's discussing new impulses, uh, new innovations, so it's always a pleasure. One of our topics um, that we are currently facing in the automotive industry, and we are talking about that, um, I think, uh, almost every day, is uh, software and the product. So software getting more and more into the car uh, there, and uh, that has a huge impact on the, on the processes, on the methods, and so on. What's your opinion of that? Um, I mean, to continue with the current uh, business model, definitely you have to digitalize. Uh, concerning and along the dimensions, uh, cost, it's uh, time and it's quality. But uh, if you want to do the next step uh, to start new revenue streams, uh, then you have to morph, to migrate, to transform your mm -hmm. business model. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is true for software in the product, software in the vehicle. Uh, to do that, uh, you need, I mean, different uh, aspects uh, from, let's say, the culture, the mindset, uh, but the processes, the methods, the organization and the skills as well. So mm -hmm. therefore you have to address all of these uh, levels. Yeah, yeah. You didn't mention so, so, so much or you didn't emphasize the technical part and uh, I think we are together in, uh, in the opinion that um, the change and the people and the mindset and the culture is much more important and the greater challenge yeah. um, in doing that transformation. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I can, I can still remember uh, when I started in research, building up a new uh, department in the research center in Ulm. I started first with a, a psychologist mm -hmm. 
and every, everybody said, hey, Siggy, what's going on in a technical discipline mm -hmm. hiring uh, psychologists? Uh, I mean, th but that means to understand really uh, the human beings, yeah. uh, the customer. Yeah. Uh, and therefore, it's so important uh, to focus on the human being aspects, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the people aspects. Uh, so culture, mindset, I would say, finally is the key. Ziggy, let's talk about speed. Time to market is shortened more and more. And uh, on the other hand, um, we have shorter uh, processes in the company to gain more efficiency. What is your opinion? What is important? I would call, in general, speed as a competitive factor. Uh, mm -hmm. But let's address two aspects. First is uh, the product creation process. So all the OEMs currently on the way to accelerate uh, from, let's say, in the past five years, uh, now four years, uh, to attack three years. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the way, I mean, how long we do need uh, from spec to first uh, start of production, one aspect. And the whole processes, tools, we will uh, talk afterwards. The other way, the other aspect is uh, the decision-making process. How? to make a decision, where we make the decisions. I guess there is a room for improvement, uh, not to, to go the hierarchical uh, aspect, uh, but make the decisions, and decisions not on the top, but perhaps there where we have uh, most competency. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully not just the experience-based, but data-based, uh, data-driven. So therefore have access to the data, provide the data, have the right mindset, and then speed, speed, speed for fast decision-making. Mm -hmm. I think that's very good because on the on the other hand, um, the, the customers want more and more speed because yeah. they have the digital experience now and they they want to have more features, more products in shorter time there. And that is the perfect answer how companies yeah. can can yeah. deal with. I mean all of us we are discussing customer orientation, yeah. yeah but what yeah. does this mean, yeah? And uh, listen carefully what the customer really wants uh, and then uh, to come up with uh, with the appropriate products uh, high speed mm. and the products can be updated over time so the customer can have a new digital customer experience from time to time and these times are shortened yeah, yeah exactly yeah in addition to that what's behind what what's below that um, what do you need to get there um, from a te technical point of view um, from the infrastructure mm. I mean, different aspects uh, come to my mind. Uh, so let's start with the software development process. Uh, mm -hmm. So there we need a end-to-end -end, uh, best developer journey with the CI, CV, end-to-end uh, -end, uh, high-level automation, um, fully supported uh, the software developer uh, within the cloud with his uh, full, uh, full-fledged, uh, let's say, uh, flexibility and agility. Uh, on the other hand side, uh, including a digital twin, uh, having access to mm -hmm. all of the data. So mm -hmm. everything starts with uh, data uh, accessibility. So mm -hmm. therefore, with the APIs, uh, having uh, access to all of the data in the whole enterprise uh, and to provide all the data needed for a decision, mm -hmm. to share it, to provide it, uh, and perhaps uh, uh, within a digital twin, a cockpit, uh, share it and provide it uh, yeah. within the whole workflow to the different uh, uh, disciplines uh, mm -hmm. or different, uh, uh, let's say, uh, positions or uh, the experts. Mm -hmm. So the digital foundation to, to get into automation. Yeah. Uh, I say. Yeah. Okay, very good. Sigi, let's play a game. Um, <laughs> the game is finish the sentence. I start the sentence, you end it. Okay. And it's all in a short time. So. Let's start. Software in the product is? The first step of digital transformation. At school I've been? Unmotivated, <laughs> with bad grades. <laughs> in Asia I've learned? Speed, speed, speed. Digital twin is? The base of uh, digital transformation. Hardware and software must be? Smartly linked, uh, considering the different speeds. Highest risk in development is? Uh, not to have the courage uh, to do the next step. ProStep Ivan Symposium is? Joining the family and uh, sharing uh, innovation tricks. Time is over, so 
Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. This game. What about uh, mistakes? Which mistakes um, have you made that are outstanding, painful, but on the other hand, outstanding, useful for you? I guess when you make lots of discussions, lots of decisions, uh, then you make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. Uh, so therefore, it needs also a kind of culture to share mistakes. Yeah. And I did a lot. <laughs> I did a lot. Uh, perhaps uh, I should mention three aspects. Mm -hmm. One was uh, systems engineering and uh, how should we introduce systems engineering be because we could go more in the detail. The second, a second topic is uh, how to build the teams uh, and do not allow lazy compromises uh, in building cross teams uh, with the business unit and IT uh, DevOps. Uh, so therefore no compromises uh, mm -hmm. but build this uh, cross-functional teams um, and perhaps uh, the third one is how to run huge uh, let's call it migration project uh, mm -hmm. there I would say it's communication uh, perhaps uh, I, I did less communication but uh, you cannot under communicate you mm -hmm. cannot mm -hmm. under communicate so communication is key and explain again and again why why we are doing this uh, huge migration project and uh, what is in for you. What is the value? Mm. And this uh, you have to repeat again and again. To get buy-in of all exactly. stakeholders. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And it's again uh, like uh, the burger. Uh, the meat is uh, in the middle, uh, from the top, uh, from the field and the bottom, again and again. And mm -hmm. I mean, my mistake was uh, uh, we have done in this huge projects to less. Mm -hmm. uh, but you cannot under communicate. Mm. So therefore this I learned. Uh, and uh, never forget the culture. Never forget the culture. The people themselves are key. So explain the key. Motivate the people. Uh, and motivation is, uh, is key. Like uh, mm. I've learned in school, if the motivation is yeah. there, yeah. Uh, the and performance will be just a consequence. In Ed Prostam we are um, discussing very much about systems engineering and systems engineering, uh, why, why is that? Because um, systems engineering is, is a mean to, to deal with complexity, I think. And we talked about um, before uh, about complexity itself. So what is your point of view, um, what to do with complexity beside mm. systems engineering? I mean, like, uh, like said, uh, with systems engineering, definitely we address uh, how could we uh, address even more complex becoming products uh, with, uh, with a new approach. But uh, let me start from the top. Mm -hmm. uh, complexity. Um, I would call it uh, radical simplification. Mm -hmm. Radical simplification starts uh, on the product level. Mm -hmm. So make sure uh, you are able to uh, simplify your products. Uh, I mean, it's a hard job uh, if you are an OEM uh, already 100, 120, 130, 140 years uh, of history. Yeah. Uh, definitely you have a, a, a huge uh, knowledge uh, component systems. Uh, but uh, I guess uh, the key is simplify your product uh, from a customer perspective. What does the customer is demanding? Mm -hmm. uh, is, uh, uh, is using and uh, what he needs. So therefore, from a customer perspective, radical simplification starting from the products. Second step, um, then uh, we should uh, simplify our processes and organizations, uh, streamline them, make it much, much easier. Uh, and at the end, uh, then simplify the tool chains, all the tools, all the IT systems, the whole landscape just avoid overlapping tools mm -hmm. and systems uh, and streamline and then easy to use. So therefore we have addressed this radical simplification on all three levels, products, uh, processes, methods and IT tooling. Mm -hmm. oh, perfect. Well, in the automotive industry, there's a certain role model. Um, you have the car manufacturers, you have tier ones, tier twos downstream and they mm -hmm. are bringing the components up and the mm. car manufacturer integrates that. That is the current model, but I think with the new players, everything mm. is changing. Mm. How do you see that situation? Yeah, I mean, why? Because uh, it's now uh, important to 
insert new technologies, its battery, its data, its software. Where does this data and this information come uh, from tech companies, uh, from smaller companies, from startups? Yeah. Um, but the OEMs, uh, uh, they have just experience to collaborate uh, with the big ones, uh, with mm -hmm. the same culture, same processes, same mindset, same organization, to know who should communicate with whom <laughs> with the same speed. Mm -hmm. So now you have the different speeds uh, and let's say different organizations. So therefore, definitely this will be a key to address all of these uh, topics, uh, mm -hmm. to find the right mindset, culture, speed, and the tooling. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are new players that come up to as a, as a supplier there, um, and they ask uh, the car manufacturers, okay, your device has two, uh, four wheels, but you do not have that much <laughs> devices, so <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complex situation. Yeah, I think so. What, what is uh, a possibility to work with these um, smaller companies, with startups and so on, when a car manufacturer is uh, uh, an enterprise, an international mm. enterprise? Mm. I mean, perhaps uh, I did it uh, black and white. Uh, I mean, the OEMs are already uh, on their way, I mean, to accelerate. So mm -hmm. speed uh, uh, is accelerating. Also, the mindset, uh, the agility, the agile processes uh, are in the implementation phase. So, therefore, uh, they are already in this phase of uh, synchronization. Yeah. So, it's not black and white, definitely. Mm -hmm. But at the end, it's the challenge, uh, and we have to continue uh, and to balance, and at the end, uh, to find uh, the appropriate solutions. Perfect answer. But let us go um, a little deeper. What has to be changed in that road model? How to, to deal with these new players? Okay, perhaps from my new role uh, as a digital engineering consulting, uh, I would say uh, focusing on both parties. Uh, mm -hmm. First, starting with the producers. Uh, uh, they are on their way, but uh, to accelerate, uh, to be more open, uh, and that means uh, starting with uh, APIs, uh, with uh, coming up with uh, digital twins, uh, with uh, formats uh, to collaborate, uh, not just with big ones, but also for smaller ones, uh, uh, to create all these uh, new products uh, um, with uh, this access to the data and also to the customer, to the suppliers, to the smaller ones uh, with open formats. I'm pushing pretty much. Mm. Uh, there, let's say, uh, I'm uh, consulting the big ones. Mm -hmm. The software vendors, the tech companies, even the startups, uh, I push from a different perspective. Uh, there I'm always sharing my story of Hänschen and Hans. <laughs> what does this mean, Hänschen and Hans? Hänschen are the small decision makers, uh, perhaps uh, um, from, uh, from the OEMs, uh, the startups want to collaborate. Uh, and Hans are the big ones, C-level, up to C-level. So uh, it's easy to start a Henskin project uh, because uh, Henskin you can uh, uh, convince uh, with technology and uh, easily you can create perhaps a minimal viable product, but not uh, much than this one. If you want to make a Hans project, the big one, uh, you can do as well. But Hans is using a different language. He is using value, value, value. So therefore. Uh, and that's uh, the same for startups like for software mm -hmm. vendors, always the same uh, I'm supporting them is uh, come up with a value-driven digital transformation, value-driven uh, offering of the products. Uh, and this starts not just uh, on the sales side, uh, this is, let's say, an entire mindset topic, uh, value-driven. And mm -hmm. value again uh, is my 30, 12, one ready story. Uh, so when we created uh, the Dutch Twin at Mercedes, uh, and uh, this was really a heartbreaking topic, uh, Ola Kalinu said, uh, hey, we have to measure this. Uh, and measure means uh, come up with easy, understandable and convincing figures. And there I said 30, 12, 1 ready. Uh, and again, it's uh, 30 means uh, to reduce the hardware prototype cost by 30%. Uh, 12 means to accelerate by another 12 months. And one ready means already after the first loop uh, in uh, starting the production cycle, the products are customer saleable. Mm -hmm. So therefore, come up with a similar, easy to use, uh, 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 well-used KPIs uh, to understand and to address to the C-level. 
So we discussed several topics here and I think we could talk all night long because there are several is issues that are important for the automotive industry and for other industries. And because of that, we come together at the ProStep IVIP um, to discuss these uh, topics cross industry and to find the right solutions. And with this discussion and sharing of knowledge, we have to make mistakes only once. Ziggy, last question uh, to you. Okay. Uh, the whole format here is push to future. Yeah. So push us to the future. Uh, how do you see the future? What's in 10 years? Um, different aspects. Uh, let's shape it like an onion. Uh, first, uh, from an <laughs> organizational perspective, I would say in 10 years from now, uh, engineering IT and uh, car IT is merged. Mm -hmm. um, software IT landscape is fully running in the public cloud. Mm -hmm. So holistic the IT landscape uh, uh, from on-premise uh, in the cloud, cloud cloud communication everywhere. That's a standard. From a car perspective, uh, it's uh, let's say uh, software driven. It's uh, updating via the air. That's uh, quite standard. Therefore, uh, you have a different revenue stream for monetization. Uh, the, the cars, so you can keep your car evergreen. Mm -hmm. um, that's uh, quite normal. Um, from a drive perspective, uh, we will see their battery driven cars. We will see fuel cell cars, mm -hmm. even other alternatives, uh, mm -hmm. um, which uh, will uh, guide, I mean, the sustainability. Um, and uh, from uh, um, from autonomous driving perspective, I would say pretty much level four is arrived. Uh, mm -hmm. Level four is standard uh, for the cars uh, where it makes sense. Uh, so level four, quite normal. Level five uh, in such areas where it creates value. Perfect and very precise. So we'll meet again in 10 years here and see <laughs> if you are right. Um, it was a pleasure to meet you here. Thank you very, very much uh, for your knowledge, to share knowledge here. It's all about Prostep EVIP and the new format Push to Future. Thank you very much and uh, yeah, we'll enjoy our common projects that are upcoming. Hey, Philip, thank you so much and let's continue our collaboration. Thank you so much.